Politicizing democracy, do not give up on democracy. Panel 3 discussion, our dream Gambia. We spoke about the Gambia that we want. Right. How do we get to the Gambia that we want? I know all our viewers out there, everyone has their knowledge, mm -hmm. opinions, you know, sender data of information about the Gambia that we want. Mm -hmm. A lot of conversations are taking place. Mm -hmm. But I think the most important conversation, this is just an example of the most important conversations, conversations that need to take place. Mm -hmm. How do we enforce? Like I said earlier, it's easy to pass laws. It's easy to pass policies. Of course. But let me use myself as an example. I was the Assistant Secretary General of the Music Union a few years ago. And I witnessed a situation where the former president had passed a law in favor of royalties, for example, and copyrights. And I believe this was since, was it 2004, mm -hmm. instead? Since 2004 till this day, enforcing the copyright law has been an issue. issue. You understand? There's been several conversations, there's been several debates, there's been several panel talks, there's several discussions. Till this day, Gambian artists who are, for example, connected to the, um, to, to, to the bureau in Senegal, mm -hmm. have to go to Senegal if their music is being played. Like some of my music gets played on TFM, RTS, the, sure. um, and all these other channels. If you're licensed in Senegal, you have to go to Senegal to collect your royalties. Gambian artists get no royalties from their music being played, from their music being played on air, whether on TV or on radio. radio. Understand? Mm -hmm. If you are lucky and you're doing good with the streaming, mm -hmm. that's an, a means to, to, to an end. So, and it's not only in, in, in the music, for example, that we face this issue of enforcement. Because mm -hmm. enforcement is, is, is not an easy ride. Mm -hmm. If an enforcement, you mentioned strategical maneuvering, yeah. you understand, mm -hmm. to get to point A, long-term, short-term, point B, long-term, short-term, yeah. which is very important. Now, we're talking about, we've been talking about poss possible solutions since we uh, began this panel, but we, I want us to close the, these panel discussions with a very strong message and a very strong, let's say, warning also to ourselves, mm -hmm. our Gambian people and the leaders that without enforcement strategies of things that are very, very, very important to us, we're going to come back here <laughs> very poetic, yeah. very lofty, yeah. you know, and repeat the same conversations again and again. You know, look at, look at now, Nowik, for example. Nowik is like a perfect example of a repetitive. It's become redundant. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, wake up in the morning, cha, 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 no, for how long? Yeah. Enforcement, okay. again. Yeah. Enforcement is a problem. I, I identify the problem, okay. Obviously, I'm, I believe in this time span, it's not like no one has come up with possible solutions for Nowik. Mm. You understand what I'm trying to say? First and foremost, the laws, now we have access to information as a law. You understand? Now it needs to come out and tell the people What's going on? repetitively, consecutively, what is going on. You understand? You know, we messed up your fridge. This is the reason why. You know, at a level where people will understand. Absolutely. You know, because now, let's say, for example, your fridge is messed up because of Nowik. You can't go sue Nowik. Mm -hmm. But we need to live in an environment where you can actually go sue Nowik. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say, because you bought your TV, your fridge, with your money. And mm -hmm. they did not, like for example, you know how AfriCell and the rest, um, QCell and the rest of these um, service providers send you messages? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe about events or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now it needs to do that. If there's, there's a power shortage, mm -hmm. there needs to have be, be a system where they'll send a, a message beforehand. Yes. We are about to take the power off at this time, at this time. Please switch off your TVs, switch off your... You know what I'm trying to say? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All these things are enforcement 
strategies, methods, things that can be put into place mm -hmm. to make life for the Gambian easier. Mm -hmm. You understand? I just recently I heard of houses that um, I, I've been in the fire myself. My house, I've been in the fire myself because of now. You understand? Thank God I survived the fire. But there are a lot of people that have not survived. What are they going to do? They, lo they lose their houses, they lose their belongings. They mm -hmm. can't go and sue now. Eh? You understand? They can't go and ask now. Eh? You know, why uh, did you bring back the electricity with such a charge that it blew up my lights? And, you know, so these conversations are very important. But it's because there's no enfor enforcement. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm trying to say? So th these are just examples. These conversations are just examples of the need for us to be like, you know what? Enforcement, enforcement, enforcement. And one of the things that we're trying to enforce by these panel discussions, because I even suggested um, making voting mandatory, like making voting by force, you know, kind of like you when you have a passport, mm -hmm. uh, voting should be like having your passport. You understand what I'm trying to say? But obviously, one of the things we spoke about here was not, not everyone likes to be forced to do things. I mean, you cannot have the two ways. Yeah. You cannot say people must have freedom to choose and then you're forcing them to choose. Then yeah. there's no freedom at of all. Of course. Right. Of course. But it is significant that we have people uh, take part in, in who actually leads. Mm -hmm. This is very fundamental. But also, you must understand this. You cannot, in this country, you cannot, you cannot give medicine to anybody if you're not a licensed nurse. Yes. Do you of understand? Course. Of, right? course. of course. Now, when it comes to voting, it's picking the person who will run our lives for a period of five years. Yeah. Nobody is trained on how to do that. Exactly. How do we expect we'll pick the right person? We have a country that is highly illiterate. We have a country, even with, with, with illiteracy, we could have had people who are politically conscious or people are not. I have people who are educated with degrees. If you talk to them about politics and the angles on which they argue, you'll be shocked. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. We haven't been having this kind of conversations in this country for a long time, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So it is just starting right now. People are starting to wake up a little bit course, to the political course, aroma and then try to be part the conversations of... Conversations like this yeah. help people to wake up even Exactly. More. We need more of them. So now if you have electorates like that, then you have a problem of selecting the good leader. Mm -hmm. Because they will not have a conversation with you about who has the good character or who has the mm -hmm. intellect around this country. Mm -hmm. They'll have a conversation with you about Esafal fana fana la man fana fana. They will talk to you about lawyer that is a mandinka and I'm a mandinka. But you think the media also plays an important part because you see the one thing about the media is because we spoke about that earlier. One thing about the media is you know the way people receive information. It's it's sort of like a hypnosis. The more you repeat something, the more you repeat something, people. It enters into the subconscious. Which is, which, is, which is why we need to be responsible with everything we do. Mm -hmm. I cannot sit here and even talk about things I'm not sure of. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is mm -hmm. there are a lot of people out there listening to it. Of course. Right? Mm -hmm. These people don't have as access to information like you and I do. Of course. So they will take your word for it. When you life say something, life. they will go and quote it somewhere. Yeah. God knows how far that conversation will go. Yeah. So if you sit here and dispense information that is false. False. Right? You don't know how many well, people we need to be taught the culture right. of, 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 of sourcing, the culture of looking into the sources of things, into the origins of things. If somebody says something, mm -hmm. we need to, there are so many things that, okay, obviously, like, like we said, we already know the gamut we do not want. Yes. Yes, but there are still some people who do not know the gamut that they, they do not want. Mm -hmm. You understand? Obviously, some people are still in a bubble. And obviously, yes, um, education is important. Mm -hmm. Literacy, we all know, has a lot of pitfalls, a lot of yeah. disadvantages, mm -hmm. you understand, to any country. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about, when you talk about education also, are we talking about education into the white man's system? Are we talking about, what kind of education are we talking about? I, I don't think the white man education system worked for us. It doesn't. Let me be clear here, this might take a minute. During the, during the colonial days, the reason the white man introduced education, Western education in this country, it wasn't to help us fix our problems. It was to help Condition them rule us, us easier. Yeah. Now, you know, back then we used to have traveling commissioners. Mm -hmm. And when they established schools, for example, some of the four schools that were established were for the sons of chiefs. Makati specifically. Mm -hmm. Because when the traveling commissioners traveled, they communicated to the chiefs directly. Mm -hmm. So they needed the chiefs to be able to read and write in English. Mm -hmm. So the education wasn't brought to teach us to solve problems, mm -hmm. to teach us to rule our countries and oh, invent things. Mm -hmm. No, it was invented to allow the white man to rule us easier because mm -hmm. the, the, the British used what they call the indirect rule system. Mm -hmm. They wanted to take as much from us as possible, possible. using the smallest human resources mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. So few white people 
we strategically place Africans in mm. places that can help them control, run, and take our resources. Mm. This is why the education was introduced. So mm. does the white man education work for us? Mm. No, it doesn't. Am I well, educated? Look at our, our curriculum. Am I educated in it? Mm. Yes. Am I thankful for it? In mm. a way, it's yeah. making me realize. But how many of us out there know that this education they give us doesn't work? I mean, we've been here for 50 years. We cannot fix anything since their life. It's like when I first came across um, the difference between learning to work for money mm -hmm. and learning to have money work for you. Mm -hmm. For example, this particular education system that we're talking about, even at a college level and university level, they don't teach you to have money work for you. They teach you how to have a job. You understand? And you get a salary. work for, get a salary, yeah. and the whole, your whole life work for, let's say, a particular agenda or a particular group of. Let me tell you something. They just recycle yes. slavery yes. and put it in, in the system. In a because format. this is what happens yes. when you work yeah. for a salary. It's the same as working for a master because the same master will give you food. Maybe not the food you want. And he will give important. you shelter. No, let me finish. Mm. He will give you shelter, not the shelter you want. Mm. It's the same thing. Mm. For example, in this country, when you go for a job, you very limited number of people have a chance to even negotiate for a salary. Mm -hmm. When you come, they will tell you this is what we pay for and you accept it. Mm -hmm. That's what the masters did to the slaves. Mm -hmm. And then that salary mostly is not even enough for you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. We have a lot... I'm doing this poem called Contradiction. I cannot finish it because there are too many problems. I don't know what to condense in it. It's mm -hmm. becoming way too long. I have mm -hmm. to keep yeah, editing it. Yeah. I I, one of the contradictions I have there is people have jobs but cannot feed their families. Yeah. So somebody somewhere is messing with the money. Of course. Do you understand? Of course. So it's, they recycle slavery and give it back to us. Yeah, of course. And we, we, the few number, the few of people course. who can actually of excel course. in that system, right? Tell us everything is just and then the rest of us suffer. Of course. Of right? Course. How many people do we have here who have job but cannot afford to pay rent or have enough food? We even have enough air to go to work. I, 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 have, I know people who are paid things like $3,500 or even less than that. In a country where a bag of rice alone costs $1,500. Hold, 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 hold that thought real quick. This is open. Again, it's an open discussion. We, we, we're speaking, we're, we're touch, touching on possible solutions. Yes. You understand? Just brainstorming mm -hmm. and, and, and having these conversations. Mm -hmm. um, earlier in, in these panel discussions, we spoke of um, our uh, uncle was here and we spoke about... Um, we spoke about uh, the, the uh, let's say the, 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 the model of China, for example, mm -hmm. and Singapore, mm -hmm. as to getting independence, Singapore for example, getting independence around the same time as Gambia. Mm -hmm. You understand? And one of the things we do, we talk about, oh, Gambia is going to be like Singapore, mm -hmm. which is obviously lofty politicians, mm -hmm. you know. And you look at Singapore, for example. Why don't we stop and ask ourselves? Okay, let's look maybe into their curriculum. You understand? Their education curriculum. Mm -hmm. We've been following the white man's curriculum for the longest. You understand? It's not working for it's us. It's not working. You know what I mean? How, how are the Chinese doing it? Obviously, I know they, they have population power, but we should be free to, to change mm -hmm. even our education system amongst ourselves, Gandhians. Mm -hmm. Have these conversations. We're like, okay, we're going to borrow a little bit from the Chinese, borrow a little bit from Singapore, mm -hmm. maybe, and see how they're doing it. And, Maybe trace that model to see the kind of results that we get. I, mean, look, I don't even want us to copy. I want us to invent. To invent. I want us to come with but I things. think with let inventing, me, let me give, let me give we are so let far from inventing example. because we don't have the manpower nor the financial. We have it. Forget about financial power. Money will come. Always. Look, listen. I mean, let me tell you this. Mm -hmm. How many years have uh, 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 um, this guy, Sidi Ajata, mm -hmm. tried to introduce local ed language in our education system? Mm -hmm. At the university level, I have had him, had him speak of it so many times. Mm -hmm. They refuse. Mm -hmm. You know, recently they introduced Mandarin at the University of the Gambia. What the hell are we doing with Mandarin? <laughs> but yeah, but they will not introduce Mandinka or Fula or all of in the university. But they're teaching us Chinese. No, but don't forget. Second phase of colonialism. Yes, of course. You understand? Of the, course. the Chinese are overtaking Check Africa. It, of course. Just a different system. Of course. Right? Of they, course. They, 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 they lure us in with their money. We owe them that. Well, and now we pay say. in a different way. Of course. Do, do you know how we pay? Uh, there is uh, there's, uh, there's this... But do you know English is not going to be the official language of the world in a couple of years? It's going to be Mandarin. Look, I... Uh, yes. Yes. The takeover is getting interesting. The takeover is already happening. I have done a research. I think this was about three weeks ago. Um, I think if you look at the population wide in the world, mm -hmm. it's not the English language, no, it's the leading language, mm -hmm. like it. it's the Mandarin. Yeah. 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 Because especially with, yeah. the, with the growth of China, mm -hmm. you Absolutely. understand? Yes, the growth exactly. of China, yeah. with technology, with yeah. the markets, yeah. you know, obviously the language that is seeing the money mm -hmm. is the language that people are going to want to speak. Yeah. So maybe if you see introducing Mandinka or Fula or, I mean, 
it's not very beneficial because I, I would say because we're looking at it from a cultural standpoint. I mean, culture is nice. Yeah, we go back to our rules. You know, you know, know what, ourselves. You, you know what but, shocks me the most mm. is how much our people are sleeping. Mm. You see how China is enslaved in Africa. Let me say, let me tell you the model they have. Mm. This is what China is doing. China gives us loans, yes. but they don't want us to pay them in money. Mm -hmm. They want us to pay them in natural resources. Yes. Do you know why? Because they have everything is produced in China. They need as much resources, resources. As, raw material as they yeah. can, right? Yeah. That is one. So also, they have this, they export their intellects. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Because they have a huge population. Of course. Their people are smart. They, they graduate millions of, of, millions of engineers around. and doctors every year. Mm -hmm. So they have to also ship those people out to Africa. Mm -hmm. Now what do we have? We are giving them raw material. We are also mm -hmm. providing employment for their people. And when mm -hmm. the Chinese come here, we pay them high amount of money. Mm -hmm. Our roads, who build them? Yeah. Our bridges, who built them? Yes. Our hospitals. Yeah. Who, who constructed the conference center? The Saudi Arabia yeah. conference center. Yeah. They did. You have some of the doors. The signs are written in Chinese. What the hell do we need the signs to be written in Chinese on a door in the Gambia? Seriously. Seriously. Because they don't want but, to leave. They but, want to be there so that we will keep but, needing but them. But then again, this is this is why we're having these these, these, these conversations. Right. We're, talk, we're talking about electing the right kind of people, voting for people that represent us at these levels people that can say no china we know this is how you think it's going to happen mm -hmm. because you're used to doing it this in this way mm -hmm. look at what they've done to democratic republic of congo mm -hmm. look at what they've done to a lot of different countries you know what what they do as well is for example they come to your country mm -hmm. we all know this they would take Mm -hmm. Right, without you knowing, mm -hmm. obviously theft. Mm -hmm. For example, a country like the Democratic Republic of Congo is so vast. You understand? Congo there are ways you can illegally is... mine and illegally take things out of that country. Mm -hmm. You understand? Without even the natives of that country knowing. You Congo, understand? Congo. And they can do it in Gambia too. I mean, we've heard about you know the issues with the fisheries and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's one of their strategies. Okay, it's, 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 the conversation is sweet. It's, it's interesting. It's, it's, it's one of the yeah. it's one of the it's one of the strategies. We, yeah. we, we don't we don't want to we don't want to fault China again. One mm -hmm. thing I always say here is we don't want to fault anyone. As in, it's just us running with our walls, hundred percent. No, mm -hmm. obviously there is a good side to things that China is doing. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't really. S I, I he's like, saying, what is the good sign? I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm <laughs> thinking. You know, I, I am a very big Chinese I fan. I actually said uh, that. Yeah. I'm discuss with you, but myself, I'm a very good Chinese fan. I okay. support them in a, in a, you know, in a very wide, you know, variety of perspectives. Really. So I you, you, you suppose I, I have I, seen, I have seen that China and Africa obtain our independence together in 1776 mm -hmm. and how China fought against colonialism, mm -hmm. how they so were able to build independence of our republic. I'm a very good Chinese fan, seriously. I'm a big Chinese fan. Because to me, they've really done very well. So he means with America yes, and, and, and yes. Exactly. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Look, the only part of the China which I don't even support, I think it's that's fine, is they don't interfere as much as the white man would do. That's like, right. they're not into our politics, they're not telling they us. Just they, 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 yeah. they just want to manage resources. They just want to manage the resources. Okay, this okay. is it. The Chinese are just trying to feed their Let's population. Let's not be naive. Let's not be naive. No, they just yes, want to feed their course. population. Of course. I respect that. Of course. I just don't like exactly. how it's going. Now, of course. now some of these things are. It's not, it's not their fault because it's not like they're putting a gun to our, our exactly. leader's head and exactly. telling them, that is it. do it this way. No, our leaders are welcoming their policies and welcoming a psychological. This is, what the this is what I mean. This is why we need and people who can gun. match them psychologically. Exactly, because we have weak leaders. So when the Chinese manipulate them, and well, they we have elect them, these leaders. Exactly. So which is why I wanted us to talk about the solution. He's talking about how much we don't have time. Let me finish this. Let's Look, the this. issue is this: we have leaders that right, with big bellies. Fat pockets mm -hmm. and little minds. I think who don't know. Do you understand? Jack. Little minds. They don't know Jack. Right? Can I so, say Jack Shell on TV? <laughs> I don't know. Minds. So they come. So they come. <laughs> they take these things, manipulate them, give them a little bit of money, and those people allow them to exploit the rest of us, millions of us. Yes. How many people did the fisting affect in 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 Kartum? Yeah. How many, how many people were benefiting? Yeah. The people of Kaun did not benefit from that. No. But there are certain strategically placed individuals within the government who are benefiting a lot as individuals. Of course. But they're not benefiting the entire country. And that is supposed to benefit everyone else. But there are a lot of other things going on. I think we cannot finish the topic of China right no, now. But I think to solve the problem. To solve the problem. But it's important because it's crucial to our government. It because is. the China-Gambia relationships are growing every day. Look, I, I have nothing against the Chinese. Look, 
I just personally I, I don't either, but no, our I don't country. I don't hate, look, I don't hate the Chinese. I just love my people more. No, I don't know if this makes sense. Right. So to solve this problem is this: these leaders, I mean, they don't come from space. They don't drop from the sky. Mm -hmm. They come from our homes. Mm -hmm. So they they went to our schools. schools. So how do we raise them? Mm -hmm. How do we educate them? Mm -hmm. Because they are us and we are them. So mm -hmm. if they're not doing good, we are not doing good. Mm -hmm. Because uh, what what it means is if by any chance you randomly pick, and if you close your eyes and you randomly pick anybody within the population, there's a fifty percent possibility that person will be. Was done battle. Did you hear about, uh, was it last year or the year before, the grade 12 exams and the results that came out? I think out of like 10,000 students or so. Not, we have 20, four, at least 20,000. 400 passed. You heard about no, that? No, yeah, that was. For the, for the past five six years, mm -hmm. less than twenty percent of all students that sit to that sit to us have five credits. That is five credits. Don't you think this also creates a future that we should be mindful of? Because yes, out of those, let's say out of listen, don't get me wrong. Not everyone is meant for um, a education. You understand? But also, those people that are not meant for education probably don't really have business running things like a country. You understand? If you don't really understand what it takes to run a particular sector, as in, for example, national issues are left to central government. You mm -hmm. understand? And local issues, such as the regulating of markets, are, are left to local council oh, man. elections. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. we don't have much time. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we should have a part two of. We should. Yeah. We should have. Uh, but maybe <laughs> from my own perspective, okay. yeah. Yeah. if you look at uh, the main reason that I've seen as to why students are not performing well even uh, in schools right now mm -hmm. is the use of this mobile phone, smartphone right. and watching television right. maybe going to beaches or whatsoever yeah. although sometimes we say all work, no play makes make jazz a lot yeah. boy mm -hmm. but like I have seen that especially in this generation with the um, use of these uh, mobile phones, yeah. these smartphones you know, is wasting or is taking a lot of time. They're using it for the wrong children. reasons. Exactly. Yeah. Instead of even using it um, to make research, to read, yeah. to find out, yeah. they are using it uh, to view status, to create status. Yeah, These absolutely. These that I have from that. I don't and even they know spend a lot of time on Facebook. That. Exactly. Mm. Instead of spending time on your book. So, so again, again, from a grassroots level, yeah. I think the conversation that we need to have is. Obviously, young people are young people, yeah. and there's a time for everything. Mm -hmm. There's a time we need to have the conversation where there's a time for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a solution. There's a time for fun. Mm -hmm. There's a time for no fun. There's time for serious things. If you come to my TikTok, for example, my 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 headline is some are fun, some are serious, mm -hmm. some is work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I don't see myself being a comedian. Like Absolutely. everyone is becoming a comedian now, so that they become exactly. popular on TikTok. Yeah, many even thought. Also, I, I, as I've said, I don't know how to use it really, and I don't want to know really mm -hmm. because I am engaged a lot. I don't want to engage myself. No, of course, of but course. this TikTok, I think people are even maybe misconceiving it. Mm -hmm. I think, as you said, many people even thought, especially in the Gambia here, that it is only meant for fun. And you know, we don't have time to get into this, but there's yeah. a, there's another <laughs> agenda with the TikTok. But we're focusing yeah. on on yeah. solutions right now. Mm. Um, dreams for the Gambia. Yeah. Your dream for the Gambia, persons with disabilities to stand for elections. elections. Obviously, it's going to take grooming those persons with disabilities, maybe from a young age, you understand? Right. Are there organizations that can do that, that can start grooming young persons with disabilities from a young age, how to become the future leaders of tomorrow by identifying their potentials, you understand, and mm -hmm. helping them get into those positions? Yeah. Is there any, are there any organizations like that, any, any um, mentor, yes. mentee from people that are doing that out here? In fact, uh, in the Gambia, I can say almost all the CSOs, the civil society organizations, are partners mm -hmm. to Gambia Federation of the Disabled. Mm -hmm. You know, Gambia Federation of the Disabled is the umbrella organization of all organizations of persons with disabilities. It is the voice of persons with disabilities in the Gambia. As the Federation, being the umbrella federation, currently there are 18 different organizations of persons with disabilities that are legally registered with the Federation. Okay. All the civil society organizations are our partners. You know, that actually make sure that they share our common vision or mission together. Mm -hmm. So usually whenever they have programs, they have activities, they send invitation to the Federation and to other organizations of persons with disabilities to be more inclusive, accessible, and participatory. So some of this will even require mentoring, preparing, 
those with disabilities at the young or old stages to see how your future can be shaped. So obviously, um, there are a lot of uh, organizations really that are partnering with us. And, 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 and in closing, um, do you see in, let's say, the next couple of years, any person, person with disability actually achieving these things that we're talking about, sitting in the National Assembly Parliament, in Parliament, the local council, do you yes. see, do you already visualize that? Do you think it's a reality? Absolutely, yes. Uh, do you have anyone in mind, for example, who you feel like this person is going to become? Yes, obviously, I wouldn't want to name, name names, them, of course, yeah, of course. There are a lot of persons with disabilities right now who are really getting ready for that position. Okay. You know, we should have a man and a woman, but it's just uh, fortunate that uh, as per the Constitution, perhaps we will only have let's say two seats, okay. but then that is going to be different from those who would really want to stand or contest for elections to secure a very good seat at the National Assembly. I mean, I think the Gambia it belongs to all of us. Yeah. It does. And you have a lot of persons with disabilities now that are going to university, of course. Of course. Of course. So I mean, we're not, we're not really again, like our uncle said, here, we're, we're not born here uh -huh. by, by Alien. Exactly. It wasn't by choice. Mm -hmm. You know, we we're not Gambians by choice, but Gambia belongs to all of us. All of and I feel each, if each and every one of us has someone or a group of people to represent something of a likeness of what we want, mm -hmm. I think we stand a better chance at building our nation, you know, recovering faster from 22 years of, you know, 22 years of what's the word for it? Of loftiness, yeah. And, and I think I think pseudo poetry <laughs> from these politicians. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I mean um, to fix the problem solution. I think I think we need to re-educate our people. Of and when course. I say that, I mean, I mean on everything. Uh, we we need to take education out of the four corners of the confinement of the classroom. Also, we need to look at our curriculum itself. You see, Rwanda is is progressing so much, and and. The genocide in Rwanda ended in 1994, when we had had independence for at least 30 years. These people were killing each other until 1994. And now Rwanda is not just one of the fastest growing economies. Well, you spoke in about in, 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 but the, initiatives. But no, let's, let what me, are we, I mean, mm, not copying per se, no, but we can invent. The model. No, I'm, I'm coming to tell you what Rwanda is doing. So right now, so we were doing this pitching competition at the, at, at the university about the SDGs. So I picked SDG4, which I'm very passionate about, which is education, quality education. Mm. What it turned out, so I had to, I was checking out Rwanda's model. You know what they have in mm. Rwanda? Mm. They don't have, you have to do nine courses the whole year. Mm. When you're in high school, you know what they have? If you're doing science, mm -hmm. you do three science courses. Mm -hmm. You can do, you do combination. You can do chemistry, physics, and biology. Mm -hmm. And then you can have minor two, two other courses. Mm -hmm. Social studies and entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. right? So that is you doing science. If you're doing arts, for example, you can do yeah. government, yeah. you can do literature, yeah. and English yeah. language. Yeah. Yeah. Then, they, then, they they order, then, then the other two, yeah. the other two, yeah. they're <laughs> optional. And the reason you have the other three, the other don't even count in your grades. So if you have two credits and perhaps maybe a pass here, they will take this credit to substitute this one. So there's nobody being left out because of you didn't have this grade. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Look, I had aggregate 51 when I was in grade 9. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting right here. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I failed math so many times, I don't even try. Mm -hmm. But I'm good at other things. Exactly. Our education system is not designed to help to us gather knowledge or solve problems. Yeah. They, everything is on grades. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. The person who have the most grades is the smartest person. Yeah. You give those people a problem to solve, they concept. cannot. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. So yeah. the education system has to change. Look, yeah. I had I had a friend in class who cannot do anything. Every subject you give him, he will fail. When you go at home, everything that is broken, he fixes it. They are fixed. When when the switch is broken, he fixes it. When the car has a problem, he fixes it. That person is not stupid. He's in the wrong place. Absolutely. You, 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 do you understand? You know, I, I would actually say this because I know right now there are different people walk, watching us from different walks of life. You have the you know educated you have the mothers fathers Teachers. persons with disabilities mm -hmm. and there's another group that's a very important group we spoke about them earlier that's the ghetto youth mm -hmm. you know they might sit there be like ah, the is heavy, the people knew. Uh, <laughs> you nah. know what i'm trying to say uh. but I, um, everyone is intelligent in their own capacity mm -hmm. i feel once we as gamins all know in what area our strengths are mm -hmm and how we can contribute to national development based of where we are strong if you know you're not you don't have no strengths in this area you have no business trying to you know juggle it or just oppose things by delivering wrong results and i think that's one thing that 
would ha really help us Gambians. I know there's the rubber rubber culture here, obviously, because usually people don't have a choice. But as a solution, mm -hmm. I feel with the people that we vote into power and the laws that we pass, mm -hmm. we need to create, not, this is not the, 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 the random talk of creating job opportunities. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. We spoke here about jobs yeah. and how they teach us to work for money and not to have, um, I think we're running out of time. Okay, let me let me just wrap up. So, yeah. I, I don't think there's a rubber rubber culture. I think there are, that is the corruption culture. Yeah. Like you're given the job, you know, give, put in square pegs and round holes. Mm. Look, I struggled when I first came here. Mm -hmm. right? I came here like Japan, Japan, Abunta, I did the apprentice thing. Mm -hmm. I was a black monkey. Actually, at some point, mm -hmm. I had a shop at Heta Plaza. Mm -hmm. I fixed phones, sold them, mm -hmm. exchanged everything. Mm -hmm. I did that because I had to get by. Mm -hmm. And I respect the ghetto youth. Of Do you course. understand? But the thing is, we did not, we haven't created any kind of platform in this country where they can have an honest job. Mm -hmm. So we look down upon them, we judge them. Mm -hmm. We create no form of opportunities for them. Yeah. The, the, you know what I hate in this country? Yeah. When you speak good English, everybody concludes you're smart. Yeah. And the dumbest people speak the most amazing language. Of, of I course. told them, look, English is just a language of communication. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Me speaking Kula or you speaking Mandinka. Yeah. But in this country, we have people judging everybody's intelligence based on how well they speak a freaking local language. This, this, this is why I Reform said... Reform the education system of first. Course, that would be my first step to change in this country. This is why I said everyone has strengths. Mm -hmm. You understand? Absolutely. Yeah. And once we can focus on everyone's strength mm -hmm. and how people can exercise best their strengths towards yes. national building mm -hmm. absolutely everything is i feel things are going to get better yeah but in, in closing remark yeah in closing <laughs> in, in closing yes. yeah um, uh, okay yes okay yeah no you yeah. want to close I, with a poem yeah well, I, 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 I just scribble some stuff okay okay, okay. We're, we're gonna have a closing <laughs> report yes then. my closing remark is uh at least in trying to find our solutions of how we can fix the gambia um that is like people generally have to be informed people need to be enlightened yes. people need to be educated politically or on different different issues to understand do not actually allow people just to come with sweet tongue at least tell you that this is what is going to happen or what we just conclude like that and again the biggest problem is leadership in fact to me that is the problem of the gambia or problem of africa we don't usually have good leader so we should make sure that we elect right and good leaders to be positioned at least in order to help I believe there's a lot of CSOs because, that are Yes, now because without a good leader, there's no way that this country can be fixed. Yeah, of and there's no way that the country course. can be And without the know-how, the knowledge of voting the right people into power. Absolutely. Well, that is the question. By the people. people definitely need to be informed. Of because course. leaders can of just course. come and let's try to defend themselves, tell you things that they cannot do. And those who will actually support him because of their selfish interest, because of their pocket, yes. they will always support you and defend yes. you wrong. Of course. Then after everybody is affected. It, it will not work with selfishness and corruption. Absolutely. The Gambia is for it. Yeah, really. all the yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right, so, so I, I did this few lines. Okay. <clears throat> I know it doesn't capture everything, but this is what I could come up in this short time I got here and now. Oh, you just wrote this? You're like... Uh, bravo, bravo, bravo. You're like right now. Yeah, yeah. But here we go. Let's go. We write poems from our hearts. But nations are built with our minds. So I dream big, speak to my brain, plant the seeds and pray for the rain. We claim the future and all its gains. This nation is tired, so let's flip a page. Set the stage. Prepare the patient and pass me the scalper. Let me cut through the bullshit and expose the disease. This is a surgery, so I'll be precise. Peace is the pulse that keeps this nation alive, so keep it pumping before we all go to bed and never wake up again. Our people have jobs but cannot feed their families, so someone somewhere is messing with the economy. The dream is a strong country, a strong people, a force world status on the global stage. The economy, health, education, agriculture, unity, social cohesion, peace and the people progressing and prospering as individuals and as a nation. This is my dream. Yeah, yeah. Bullet time to democracy, bullet time to democracy. Gambia, keep on dreaming. We will get there. Bullet time to democracy. Democracy for you and